History recently at a Texas hospital where doctors there performed a separation surgery on a set of conjoined twins. Reporter Sydney Persing has more now on the journey of two baby girls and what it took them to become independent from one another. In Cook Children's 105 year history, there's only been one big surgery that separated two small infants. They're pretty much family to me. Wednesday, a panel of six doctors told a few dozen reporters they made history Monday with an 11 hour operation that separated conjoined twins, Amy Lynn and Jamie Lynn, connected from their breast bones to their belly buttons. The two tiny twins shared a little liver. They're going to grow up into the little girls that they're supposed to be uh, independent uh, and feisty like they've already shown us. <laughs> Together, the twins' surgeons and parents laughed and cried and watched a video documenting their terrifying, tremendous journey, which, thank God, got a happy ending. You have two babies <gasps> on two separate oh. beds. Oh my. The video finished and the girl's parents took the stage. Mom gripped her flowers tight took deep breaths, too emotional, she said, too fragile to speak. We've learned how to be strong. But when I asked Dad, what'd you say to your babies when you saw them separate? She couldn't help but share. I said, Mommy's here. I said, Mommy's here. And I told them they came back. I told them, come back to me. And they did. They came back, and they will move forward with separate bodies and a bond that will keep them together for the rest of their lives.